What's up, guys? It's Mr. McHagelzami with some more Dark Souls 2 today. And we will be going back to Majula. <laughs> that's that's the first thing we're going to be doing in this episode. Go back to Majula. I do have 228,000 souls, and I don't really want to lose them, so... We're going back to Majula, and I have a pretty, I have a few Estus Splash Shards as well. So we'll be trying to use those. We'll see. I guess we'll see if we can. Hello, Emerald Herald. Now get off, off your is rock. Is that a shard you found? Does it is. It... Talk to me. Yeah, let's level up. Intelligence to 50. Yes, we're going all the way to 50. Some of you probably know why. Go ahead and uh, upgrade our Estus Flask. It's at maximum strength. So 12 is the most I can have. Okay. Now I know. If you didn't know why I leveled my intelligence all the, all the way to 50, you will soon enough. I meant to use all of those. We will be leveling up the wisdom staff. Or the Staff of Wisdom is what it's actually called, so. Where, where'd it go? Is plus five the highest they can go for Twinkling Titanite? I'm pretty sure it actually is. So we level up the Wisdom That'll Staff all the way. And we're actually going to put it on. I don't know if plus, how much is that? I guess we'll see. And we're going to attune spells. And we're going to take off anything that's not sorcery. And we're going to replace it with stuff that is. Let's put that on there. It's actually put three of those on there. Great soul arrows. What else do we want? We definitely want soul spear, but I'm gonna put that in the back because it's probably either gonna be the most powerful or the second most powerful spell we are gonna have. We'll use Christy. Should we use crystal homing soul mass or just regular homing soul mass? I'm not sure. I don't know what soul bolt does. But actually, let's go ahead and put. Remove that. Put Crystal Homing Soul Mass on here, and also Soul Spear. What else do I want? What does Hush do? Reduces the sound made by its ca uh, caster. Repair, repair could be useful. Um, great magic weapon. Soul Greatsword. I might use that. Soul Shower. Soul Bolt. Okay, let's try to use that, I guess. Sure. We're going to be using the Staff of Wisdom in this episode because I've never used it before. So I said I might as well try it out. And we will be going to 
The servants? What the heck? Power apart. Which one is that? I don't know which bonfire that is. We go to the servants' quarters and make our way to the last center, which I don't think we'll be able to fight in this episode, but we'll see. I think we might just make it to the bonfire near him. I don't I don't think we're going to be able to fight him in this episode. It just takes a while to get to him, so we'll see. We'll see how it works. First of all, let's come down here. Okay, so this doesn't even kill the dog in one hit, which is kind of saddening, but whatever. Large club. I won't be using a um, Ferris Lockstone right now. Right here. Come back later and do that. So far, it doesn't look like the sunset staff, or the, um, not the sunset staff. Staff of Wisdom is actually much better than the staff I already had, which was the Black Witch's staff. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it on, but we'll see. Oops. Okay, then. I'm actually not going to jump across, I don't think. They're usually... I usually do. There's... I think that's like a soul or something down there, but I'm not... I don't think it's worth it to try to jump across. Okay. Got those two. That door leads nowhere. Killed him pretty easily right there. There are two guys in here. Pretty sure the last guy is right there. Yeah. Got him. There is a secret room somewhere. Here it is. You want to go this way? Looks like it's an empty place. There's another secret room right here. I'm going to be very, very careful when jumping across here. And then when jumping back. Okay, we made it both times. Good. Racing knuckle ring. That makes it where you... Um, your items can take a little bit more, uh, what's the word? It takes a little bit more, it just takes a little bit more to, I guess, to have to maintain them, to have to repair them. Go ahead and get this item, Skeptic Spice. There's an item down there, I don't know if I'm going to try to get it right now. I don't think I will. I think it's just like a homeward bone or something. Surprise they're actually trying to punch me instead of doing the the jerk way of everything of doing it. I don't know if we have any fragrant branches of yore, but if we do 
Nope, we don't. That actually looked like a secret room for a second. We don't have any fragrant branches of yours, so we can't get straight out of this. This little spot right there. But we're just going to keep moving on. I might actually be able to fight the Lost Center in this episode. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I had the hiccup there. That was weird. This completely stopped my speaking. That was really strange. Oh, well. Oh. Oh well, we're gonna work our way up to here to the bonfire. See the gargoyle out in the distance. I don't know where the last guy went. I think he might have just fell and died. We will use this bonfire. Let's get up. Oh my goodness, that does so much damage. Holy crap. Go ahead and kill those guys quickly. We'll come down here. I think I missed an item, actually. I will work my way back up there, because I'm pretty sure I did, actually. There's one. Maybe I did grab it. Maybe I'm just going crazy. There it is, actually. I need to stop saying actually before I get on people's nerves. Large soul of a lost undead. Just run past this door at first. There is an item right here. It's a human effigy. Oh, I thought that guy had fallen for a second. Okay. This actually does look like a hidden path, but it's not, I don't think. We're just gonna go down. Straight down the elevator. And we're gonna try to be very, very careful and jump off at the very end. Okay, that actually worked pretty dang well. We will not summon her just yet. Lucatil, I mean, of course. Oh my gosh, these guys take a lot of damage. Maybe I will actually summon Lucatio. These guys take a lot of damage. Holy crap. Just hit him one time, Lucatio. There we go. Okay then. Don't know if it's worth it to fight him or them. All the time. There is another one right here. There's also a secret room right here. You want to be very, very careful. Let's come over to this body. Pick up the Northern Ritual Band and the Bleed Stone. Northern Ritual Band, I'm pretty sure, it just makes it where your spells are more powerful, but you have a lot less health. So it's a pretty risky. Oh, 
Okay, Lucatil actually does a lot of damage to those guys. That's good. Come over here and grab this item. Large of a na uh, large soul of a nameless soldier. Does that guy see us? Yeah, he does. Oh, I'm probably dead. Nope, I'm not dead. But pretty dang close. Keep hitting him, Lucatil. Come on, Lucatil, where are you at? There we go. I was trying to just distract him while Lucatil hit him in the face. Seems like a pretty good strategy to me. No! Damn it. Okay. I need to be very careful here. Because those guys do a lot of damage. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. That's locked. I wish I could send Lucatiel on her own down there. But I don't think I can. Okay, killed him right before he went and jumped on Lupatil. Lupatil is very close to death. I'm almost positive there's another one here also. Yep, there he is. Silver Proud Knight and a Ferris Lockstone. I'm not sure if I, when I open this gate, if on, like, if I die to the Lost Center, I'm not sure if on the next trip down here the gate will be open or not. I'm not positive about that. Hopefully it is. That way, like, if you did get stuck, you can just run through. There is some enemies up here. Oops. Why can't I aim at it? Oh well, Lucatio got him. I'm not going to be able to open that anyways. I kind of wish there was another summon sign here. But it doesn't look like we're going to be that lucky. Lucatil is actually about to die. So. I'm going to use an amber herb here. I'm actually going to use two. And just hope that we can live this fight. Okay, I'm pretty sure in New Game Plus, there is extra enemies when fighting this guy. Oh god, that's gonna hurt, yeah.
Okay, Lucatiel is dead. I repeat, Lucatiel is dead already. Oh god, that's not good. I need to be extremely cautious. Okay. I don't know what the heck that was supposed to do. Oh my gosh, that hurt so bad. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Yep. Saw that one coming. It looks like I can't get too close to the sides or else uh, some more enemies come out as well. So I need to be extremely careful not to get too close to the sides. Oh my gosh, I hate these things. Alright, we're just gonna run. Oh god, I can't run right here. What did he drop? A heavy crossbow. God, why did these guys hurt so bad? It's ridiculous. Let's go ahead and pull this elevator back up. This is, this is possibly the worst thing about this fight, is not being able to just run back to him quickly. I really hope the gate down there is still open, that way I can just run to him, but we'll see. look this gate open it looks like it is so hopefully Lucatiel summons and just follows me straight away all right Lucatiel let's go come on just run just run the gate is open so we're just gonna run Okay, Lucatiel and me both made it. That is a very good sign. I actually parried him? What the heck? I didn't... <laughs> I accidentally held RT instead of... Uh, instead of RB or LB on the Xbox version. And um, I parried him on accident. That, or her, actually. It's a girl.
Oh god, that's not good. Why? Why? Why can't I see? Why can't I see? Why can't I see? Why can't I see? Why? Why do they make it so hard to see in this area? I swear. Gosh dang it! What the hell? Like they made this boss fight impossible now. I don't understand why I can't... Why? Why is the lock one so far away? Oh my god! The lock one is so far away. That's ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. I knew I was going to die there, guys. I just wanted to get the elevator brought up. It's the only reason I did that. So I can run through it, because I don't want to deal with this bullcrap. I don't know why the elevator doesn't come up by itself. It's so annoying. Oh my gosh. This is so annoying. This is like the most agitated I've gotten with Dark Souls in a long time. Like, why the hell would they put all these enemies in the boss fight with the boss I'm putting my other staff back on and replacing some some stuff cuz soul bolt sucks so I will not use that again so bullets terrible. I haven't used great sword. Homing crystal soul mass isn't really being used. So let's use something that's actually worthwhile. We'll go ahead and put Soul Spear on. Soul Spear is useful in its moments, I guess. At its moments. Okay. This is the most trouble I've had with a boss fight sometime. And even with Lugatil's help. Hopefully Lugatil will just run with me again. Come on Lugatil, let's go. Try this one more time.
Hopefully Luca Teal is right behind me. Yes, she is. Good. All right, let's try this one more time. If it doesn't work this time, I might just do it off camera. And I know people will get mad at me. Actually, I might, I'm not going to do it off camera, but... I don't understand why the distance of me being able to see him is so far away. That's so ridiculous. I mean, it's so close. You have to be so close. I don't know why Luke Teal even has a shield. That really doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, Luke Teal killed one. I'm proud of her. Okay, we killed both of them. Gosh dang it, get away from me. Yes! Success! Yes! <laughs> I have the cough, I still have the cough, so... Yes! Oh my gosh, there's two guys that come in in the middle of the fight. Ugh! I'm so happy. So happy we killed them. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Oh my gosh. Woo! That was a good fight. Scary fight. Scary fight. As soon as he hit me when I first came inside the... Or she hit me when as soon as I came in the fog wall. I was like, oh god, this is going to be bad. But we pulled, we pulled through. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We're back at Majula. Um, we did kill the last center. That was the first, or the last center. That was the first main boss, main of four, or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so from here on, we'll probably go to Huntsman's Cops. Not sure if I want to go, if I'm going to go there first. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching so much. I really do appreciate it. If you want to like, go ahead. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. If you want to comment, I really do. I love reading comments. I honestly do. I like interacting with you guys. If it's an interactable comment. Sometimes people post comments that, like, aren't even interactable. So I'm just like, oh. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.